Good morning. Just making sure we're not, yep, internet's off. We're going to be in Genesis uh, chapter 50, verse 21. And since day four, we've been on Joseph's family. Um, day four, we saw how Rachel was told by her midwife to not fear that, um, that she was going to be having a baby boy. And then she died. And then the next verse we see is, uh, in day five, we saw that Joseph was telling his brothers not to fear that God had um, had provided for them. And then in day six, we saw God telling Jacob not to fear that he could go down to Egypt and God was going to make him a great nation. And then in day seven, yesterday, Joseph was telling his brothers again not to fear that that he wasn't in the place of God. And then today we see that Joseph is again telling his brothers not to fear because now Jacob has died and that, you know, he's going to take care of them. So this is a whole, the last few days have been all on one family. And, you know, sometimes it seems all encompassing when we have fear and it's all about us and our family. But we're going to see today that God is bigger than our fear and the world and God's circumstance and God's purpose is bigger than our family. So let's go ahead and open in prayer. Let's go ahead and see where God is going to take us today. Lord, we just thank you for this day. We thank you that in the midst of everything happening in the middle of what seems to be an amazing crisis in everyone's lives, you are still faithful. You still have hope. You still know a, a plan and a purpose for us. You still have us in the palm of your hands. You have not forsaken us. You did not forget us. You know exactly what and where and when we are and how we can accomplish your purpose through our lives. And Lord, we just ask that you would be with us today. Help us to hear what you have for us today and help us to know beyond a shadow of a doubt that we need not fear. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, so again, we are in Genesis 50, verse 21. And in Genesis 50, verse 21, it says, So then don't be afraid. I will provide for you and your children. And he reassured them and spoke kindly to them. So we see here that Joseph is trying to help his brothers be okay. Like they are still fearful that he is going to seek retribution on them. Because if you remember the story, he was the favorite son of Jacob, and because of that, his uh, other brothers, his 10 other brothers, sold him into slavery. And for 15 years, he endured uh, jail and false accusations until he was finally made the right hand of Pharaoh. And when they ended up going to Egypt, it was he that they went to go see, not knowing. And now Joseph has told them, even though Jacob has died, their father has died, I am still going to take care of you. I am still going to be here for you. I'm going to take care of you and your little ones. But sometimes we don't want to, he has forgiven them, but we don't want to forgive ourselves. And we have fear of what's going to happen and what are they going to do and what is going to be, uh, what is going to come now. And Joseph uses a reassuring word to restore confidence and dispel fear. That is the most important thing we can do right now today is to use a reassuring word to restore confidence and dispel fear. There are those around us that have no courage and they have no hope. And we have the hope of Jesus Christ and we have the strength that surpasses understanding in Jesus. So we have the hope and the courage and the strength that they need to not fear. We can be that reassuring word. And our prayer for today is thank you, God, for your comforting presence all over me. Do you feel God's comforting presence all over you today? If not, why not? Seek him in his word. Seek him in prayer. Let him know that you are here to receive what he has for you, that you are here to be that blessing in others' lives. And for your supernatural provision for all my needs, God can supernaturally provide for all of your needs today. If you allow him, if you trust him, if you believe in him, if you choose to let him be that provision in your life and give him glory for the way he provides for you today in Jesus name. You know, we have nothing without Jesus Christ. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Jesus is our 
our bread. Jesus is our water. Jesus is our need, provides all our needs. Jesus is who we can cast our cares upon before he, because he cares for us. We are his and he loves us. He loves us enough to have died for us. We have everything we need to be a re to restore confidence and dispel fear in others' lives. Be the reassuring word that someone needs today. Thanks so much. God bless.